Now to a historic occurrence at the Vatican today, the first ever meeting between a pope and a president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. ABC 4 Sarah Martin is live at Temple Square with the story. Sarah? After more than 10 years of planning and building, the Rome Italy Temple is ready to be dedicated. But first, President Nelson made a stop at one of the most iconic religious institutions in the world. Just a day before dedicating the new temple, President Nelson traveled to the Vatican for a meeting with Pope Francis. What a sweet, wonderful man he is, and how fortunate the Catholic people are to have such a gracious, concerned, loving, and capable leader. President Nelson and President Emerson Ballard of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles spent 33 minutes with the Pope discussing issues the two faiths have in common. We talked about our mutual concern for the people who suffer throughout the world. We want to relieve human suffering. We talked about the importance of religious liberty, the importance of the family. They also discussed the youth of the church, the importance of worship, and the work they've done together. We've uh, been shoulder to shoulder as partners in trying to relieve suffering and uh, trying to help people that are struggling. The leaders also exchanged gifts. We gave to him a miniature replication of Torvaldsen's statue of the Christus, one performed by the Jadro uh, people in Spain. And he gave us a gift of his a declaration on the family. For me, the moment when President Nelson actually embraced the Pope and they gave each other a hug as we left was everything. Right now, the First Presidency and entire Quorum of the Twelve Apostles are in Rome during three days of dedications and celebrations for the Rome-Italy Temple. Reporting live at Temple Square, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News.